Numero one. What is equivalent resistance? So we need to define it first uh, before we can do anything else. So we just did this in the lab. Equivalent resistance is basically the total resistance of a circuit. Okay, total resistance of a circuit. It's basically if all resistors were combined in one big one. If you combine all the little resistors of circuit into one big resistor, what's the value? That's what equivalent resistance is. So how do you find it for series? Well, I just showed you. For a series circuit, you just add the numbers. OK, so for three resistors in series, one, two, and three. Find the equivalent resistance and current and voltage through the two ohm resistor. Um, I'm actually going to change this slightly. Uh, so find the equivalent resistance and the equivalent current okay, and voltage through the two ohm resistor. I'll show you how to do that. Um, when you get the practice, that's I, I worded it very carefully and much more clearly than I did here. But I already printed these off, so I didn't want to print them off again. <laughs> Pretty simple. All right. So let's start with finding the equivalent resistance. Okay, you have three things in series. It looks like this. Here's my first one. Here's my second one. Here's my third one. All right, now we got one ohm, two ohm, three ohm resistor. Um, so here's going to be my one. Here's going to be my two. Here's going to be my three. Uh, I forgot to mention what the voltage of the circuit is. So go ahead and write down that it's 1.5 volts. So that's one battery. All right, first thing we need to do is we need to find the equivalent resistance. Okay, it's a series circuit, so we find it by adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. <laughs> I know. And yes, you need to write that out. Trust me, like, it's going to be, there's going to be more complicated ones. This one is, like, literally the easiest example I could give you, okay? Um I do want you to write it out. Obviously, you don't have to show any work other than that. But do write it out so I see what you're adding up. Okay? So there's the first step. Easy enough. All right. Equivalent current. So this is the total current coming out of the battery. And the way we solve it is V equals IR. So to find the equivalent current, we're going to do the equivalent voltage, which is the total voltage the equivalent current, which is the total current, and the equivalent resistance, which is the total resistance. So the equivalent current, our voltage is the voltage of the circuit, 1.5. The equivalent current is the current of the circuit, which is um, what I'm solving for. 
And the resistance is the resistance for the whole thing, which is 6. Okay. All right, let's make this easy. Okay, and that should give you a current of one fourth, or obviously 0.25 is fine. And that is amps. Just ran out of room. So to find equivalent current, you just do V equals IR. You just found R. Here's V. V equals IR. Last thing we need to do is we need to find the voltage for the 2 ohm resistor. And that's where understanding that it's series matters. So in notes... Uh, or not no suit. In practice one, we said that things in series have the exact same current. Things in parallel have the same voltage. So that tells me that if I'm going to do V equals IR for the 2 ohm resistor, V equals IR, okay, I'm going to do the voltage for the 2 ohm resistor, which I don't know because it's not given. I'm going to do the, two, uh, the current for the 2 ohm resistor, which is 0.25, because it's in series, and everything in series has the same current. So if it's 1 fourth for the whole thing, it's 1 fourth for everything in series. And the resistance for the 2 ohm resistor was 2. So the voltage is 0.5, or 1 half volts. There you go. Every one of these problems is going to work like that. They won't necessarily always be this straightforward, but they're always going to work like that. Okay, so number four, how do you find equivalent resistance for a parallel circuit? Um, I showed you this before. So for parallel, it's one over everything. So one over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus whatever. So let me show you how to do the last part here. And then we'll finish up. Three resistors in parallel find the equivalent resistance and the current and voltage through the 2 ohm resistor. So, same circuit as before. This time, though, it's in parallel. So it'll look like this. Still 1.5 volts. 1, 2, 3. So these are in parallel, so we're going to add them this way. So 1 over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Now, you can do these as decimals or fractions. I don't care which way you do it, but I think it's easier with fractions. I'll show you why in a second, but you can certainly do it with decimals. So I'm going to get a common denominator for all these, and that common denominator is going to be 6. So to get, six, to get over 6, I've got to multiply the top and bottom by 6. So this is going to be 6. To get 6 here, I've got to multiply the top and bottom by 3. So this is 3. To get 6 here, i got to multiply the top and bottom by 2. 
So that gives me 1 over r equals uh, common denominator of 6. 6 plus 3 plus 2 is 11. Now here's why I say fractions are easier. I need to get not 1 over r. I need to get r. So I need to flip the top and the bottom. And that's literally all I do. So here's my final answer. R equals 6 over 11. Now let's say you're a person who just believes that fractions were create, created by Satan himself. And you say, Mr. B, there's no way on this planet that I'm going to do fractions. I'm going to do decimals. Okay, that's fine. So 1 over r equals 1 over 1, which is 1, plus 1 over 2, which is 0. 0.5, plus 1 over 3, which is 1 third. Gives me 1.83. And you might be saying, sweet, I'm done, Mr. B. Look, I got an answer. And look, you were even wrong the first time. <laughs> I said it was 6 elevenths. That's not 1.83. Yeah, see, this answer is wrong because it's not 1 over R. I need just R for the answer. Your calculator will help you do that. But what you have to do is do 1 divided by 1.83. So to get just r, since it's 1 over r right now, to get just r, we have to do 1 over this. So 1 over 1 1.83. 0 0.546. Now, it's worth mentioning this is more accurate. Um, 6 elevenths is like 0 0.55. There you go, 0 0.545. It is a very small difference, so it's usually not a big deal. Uh, but just keep in, in mind to be careful. Okay, I want you guys to finish up and do these next two parts. I want to see if you can find the current for the whole thing and see if you can find uh, the voltage for the 2-ohm resistor. Okay? Once you do that, if you're done with the lab, you're done. Find those two things for me. Once you've done that, when you're done with the lab, you're done.